So, there are hundreds of different display sizes, both in mobile devices and desktop computers. You ask how to make your UI look good on every device? Today, I'll show you exactly that by transforming my existing game with UI to be scalable to all devices. So, I downloaded this template Unity project from the Asset Store, link in the description, and added my custom UI elements health and mana bars, pause menu, and at the bottom, location text. As you can see, they look fine on this resolution, but whenever I change the window size, everything starts to go wrong and terribly messy. Let's start with the health and mana bars. We want them to stick to the top left-hand corner of the screen, no matter what size the screen is. So I'll select the bars group object, and now notice this anchors button. You can click on it and edit how objects should behave when the game runs in different resolutions. Because we like to have our object connected to the screen corner, just press this button to stick it. As you can see, that immediately fixes the issue with the brown box, but health bar still looks a bit off. One solution to fix this would be to click on both health and mana bars and give them the same anchor point, but in this case, I would suggest to just set them as a children of our bars group. That way, they follow its parent rules and on resizing, behave as intended. Now, let's move to the pause button. Here the story is very similar. In fact, this pause icon has been already set as a child of our button, so we don't need to worry about that. Just click here to open options like before and select the correct anchor, this time the top right hand one. After this change, good news, our UI starts to behave as intended, but we still have to fix this button bar and the text. I will now click on location text background, open the anchor menu and select to stick it to the bottom edge of the screen. But when I resize the game view, it sticks to the bottom, that's good, but I like it to resize to fill the whole bottom edge. To do that, in Anchor Options, select this one. Basically, it tells the game to stick it to the bottom and fill the whole bottom edge of the screen. If your object is not sticked to the edges, like in my case and you like to quickly resize it, just hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and click again on this bottom stretch option. Now, the UI behaves as intended, and to finish things up, we can change the anchor of the text not to be stick to the left, but to the center. Just select the text, anchor options, and holding the Alt or Option key, click the middle center option to automatically move it. Now, when we run our game, we should see a nice, resizable UI, no matter what the resolution is. But we have one more element left, pause menu. The background looks totally out of place and the buttons inside the box are not aligned. Let's fix this. I'll stop the game and enable this pause screen game object. Here we have an image that dims the screen and the box with text and two buttons. Let's start with the background. The same way we stretched this location background before, we need to stretch this transparent background to fill the whole screen. As always, click on the anchor presets and select the stretch stretch option while holding alt or option key. Now, let's move to the buttons. I think the best way to fix them would be to stretch them horizontally and add some margins. Let's do that. Select both resume and exit game buttons by holding shift key. Go to Anchors Presets and select this middle stretch option by holding Alt or Option key on your keyboard. As you can see, the buttons are now stretched to the full width of the box, but we don't want that, we need some margins. Simply click here and input how many pixels of margin you like to have from the left side. I'll input 24 and the same from the right side. Buttons now look way better. And as an addition, if you like to change the pass menu width, you can do that without breaking button sizes. 
they will resize automatically. The last thing you might want to change is the scaling of your UI. Right now, no matter what the size of the screen is, your UI elements will always have the same size and in this example, all elements look kind of small. If you click on the canvas, you can change a scale factor of your objects by typing something like 1.2 or even change the scale mode to scale it with the screen size to make all UI elements fill the same amount of space no matter what resolution is selected. So, that's the end! Be sure to check out my other UI tutorials and subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you have suggestions for any other Unity UI videos, be sure to comment below. See you in the next video!